Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We are going to do a beer review. Check this out. Yeah. Look at that. Got new reading glasses finally. Got rid of the old one arm bandits. Alright, so um, we got one from Oscar Blues Brewery. It's called Mutant X IPA. And uh, this one here is 7% alcohol by volume. They're from uh, Longmont, Colorado. Never seen this before, so I don't know if it's new or or what, but it's my first time for this one. Picked up a six pack of this, 12 ounce cans, at Total Wine and More for like 12 bucks out the door, so it's a fair price. And uh, it says, silly rabbits, hops are for brews. <laughs> That's funny. Canned on 720, 722, so uh, just a little over two months old. That's fine though, it should be okay, hopefully. Uh, let's see what else. Du -du 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 -du. Hmm. They got several locations apparently. Longmont, Colorado, North Carolina, Texas, okay. Uh, and it looks like that's it. It's the uh, Hop Forward IPA series, Unpredictable Evolution. Uh huh. Okay, let's let's handle this. Definitely a West Coast style. Oscar Blues is a pretty good budget craft brewing company. There's a little literature, literature there if you want to pause it and read it. There you go. All right, let's check into this puppy. Budget craft action. Nice tight head though. Big frothy creamy silky. Nice. We have a slightly haze, a slight haze to this amber color here. It's not totally clear but it's definitely not a hazy per se. Looks like an IPA. Yeah. Nice uh, amber color here. A little bit of haze though. I would pretty much say it's a West Coast style. Let's check out the aroma. A little bit of pine. A little, maybe a touch of some floralness. Mostly pine though. And a little bit of malt sweetness. Yeah, let's get a hit. Cheers. Mm, not too bad. It's, you know, two months old still. Pretty, pretty banging. Uh, mostly pine though, uh, maybe a touch of um, earthy notes in the sip as well. Yeah, not too shabby. A couple of rings already, one for each sip. There's no booziness. The alcohol is hidden pretty well. I'm not picking up on it on the raw alcohol notes at all. It's medium mouthfeel. Tastes like a budget craft beer though. I mean, it's not blowing me away. You can you can tell, you know, it's not like top shelf, but it's a decent IPA. Yeah, that's good. I like it. So I'm gonna sip on it, see if I can figure some more stuff out, and I'll be right back.
damn tasty for a budget craft beer what's going on here all right well let me swill it one more time we'll wrap this puppy up a little bit of a bready kind of note coming through the malt backbone it's got a really good malt backbone actually mostly a pine a nice pine note slight floralness in the aroma as well nice malt kind of backbone coming through Slight little veggie, veggie kind of note coming through there a little bit, but this is a good beer. You know, if you're on a budget, this is this would definitely be one to uh, go for. I mean, you're getting a decent beer for the money here. So with that said, on a scale of one to five stars, I'm going to give this a solid just straight four stars out of five. I think it's that good. So if you can get this stuff, get it fresh, and uh, make sure you're drinking it nice and cold. And uh, it's a good beer. I like it. I might grab it again, too, for like a, you know, go-to or a filler beer. Perfect for that. So you all have a great day, morning, night, wherever you're at. Cheers. Hit like, subscribe, ring the bell. That way you get notified when another beer review comes up. And we shall catch you later. See ya. Cheers.